Good morning students. Well, welcome back to 9th Science, Chemistry, Atomic Structure. I hope that you remember our previous class. Let us recall. Discovery of nucleus, the next one Rutherford model, then limitations of Rutherford model, the main postulates of Bose atom model, the limitations of Bose atom model, the third one discovery of neutrons and also the properties of neutrons. Now you discuss the characteristics of fundamental particles. The atom is built up of a number of subatomic particles. The three subatomic particles of great importance in understanding the structure of an atoms are electrons, protons and neutrons. The three subatomic particles are electrons, protons and neutrons. Now come to the properties of fundamental particles. Pa electron, it has the symbol E0-1 and it has the charge minus 1. Then mass is 1 by 1837. The mass in gram 9.1 into 10 power minus 28. Then the second one proton. It has the symbol H11. It is also called as proteum. And the charge is plus 1. The mass is 1. If it is expressed in gram 1.6 into 10 power minus 24. The third one neutron. N10. And the charge is 0. And the mass is 1. And if it is expressed in gram 1.6 into 10 power minus 24 gram. There are two structural parts of an atom. The nucleus and the empty space in which there are imaginary parts called orbits. The center is the nucleus and the empty space around the nucleus that is orbits. There are different orbits there. What is in the nucleus? Protons and neutrons. Okay. Then different orbits. First orbit, second orbit and also the third orbit. Here the electrons revolve around the nucleus. What is nucleus? The protons and neutrons are found in, in the nucleus of an atom. So, it is collectively called as nucleons. And the next one orbits. Orbits it is defined as the path by which the electron revolve around the nucleus. This is the orbit. In the orbit the electrons are revolve around the nucleus. These are the two structural parts of an atom. The next topic, atomic number you have to denote it by the symbol Z and the mass number A. The first one, atomic number that is denoted by Z. Atomic number is defined as the number of protons present inside the nucleus or number of electrons present outside the nucleus. So, atomic number Z is equal to number of protons that is equal to number of electrons. So, atomic number if it has the number 13 means the proton is also 13 and the electron is also 13 it has the number. So, the, these three atomic number, number of protons, number of electrons it has the same value. Now, come to the next one mass number. Mass number you have to denote it by the symbol A. Mass number is defined as the total number of protons and neutrons present in the nucleus. So, mass number A is equal to number of protons plus number of neutrons. Number of protons plus number of neutrons. So, mass number is equal to number of protons plus number of neutrons. Then here how to represent the symbol with the mass number and the atomic number. X is the symbol of the element and A is the mass number and Z is the atomic number. For example, nitrogen. So, nitrogen has the symbol N 
and it has the atomic number 14, mass number 14 and the atomic number 7. So, 7 is the atomic number and 14 is its mass number. Then how to find the number of neutrons? Neutron n equal to mass number A minus atomic number Z. So, n equal to A minus Z. For example, the number of neutrons in atom magnesium. Magnesium has the symbol Mg. It has the mass number 24 and it has the atomic number 12. So, number of neutrons n is equal to a minus z 24 minus 12 that is equal to 12. This is the number of neutrons of magnesium. Then come to the problem. Calculate the number of protons, electrons and neutrons in aluminum Al. The symbol is Al and the mass number 27 and the atomic number 13. You already know the formula atomic number is it equal to number of protons is equal to number of electrons. Here how many, oh, uh, this is the atomic number here 13. So, atomic number 13 is um, means the number of protons is equal to 13 and the number of electrons is equal to 13. Now, how to find the number of neutrons? We have the formula A minus Z. A means mass number 27 minus atomic number 13. So, 27 minus 13 that is equal to 14. Electronic configuration of atoms. The next topic, electronic configuration of atoms. How to write the electronic configuration? We have three rules. The first rule, the maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated in a shell is equal to 2n square. The formula is 2n square, where n is the serial number of the shell from the nucleus. So, come to the tabulation, the shell. How, do, how many shells here? 4 shells, K shell, L shell, M shell, N shell. And the first shell you have to denote it as 1, the L shell 2 and the M shell 3 and the N shell 4. And you have the maximum how to find the first shell means the maximum number of electrons you have to find it by using a formula 2 N square. So, in the place of N we put 1. So, 2 into 1 square that is equal to 2. Then L, L shell is equal to the value is 2. So, in the place of N we have to put 2. Here 2 into 2 square, 2 into 2 square is 4. So, for 2 into 4 that is equal to 8. So, how, how many electrons in the L shell? 8 electrons. The next one, third one M shell, it has the value 3. The maximum number of electrons here 2 into 3 square. Here 2 into 9 that is equal to 18. They come to the fourth shell n, then when value number is 4, so 2 into 4 square, so 2 into 16 that is equal to 32. In this way you have to fill the shells in an electronic configuration. The first shell contains 2 electrons, the next shell, second shell contains 8 electrons, the third shell contains 18 electrons and the fourth shell 32 electrons. The second rule, shells are filled in a stepwise manner increase in the increasing order of an energy, okay, K, L, M, N. In this way, you have to arrange the electrons. The third one, the outermost shell of an atom cannot have more than 8 electrons. Even if it has a capacity to accommodate more electrons means, how to write the electron configuration? For calcium, calcium has 20 electrons. So, here you have 4 shells K, L, M, N. You already know that first shell how to accommodate how many electrons? 2. Then L shell 8. The next shell 18, but here you have to fill, fill 10. But you already know that the outermost shell cannot have more than 8 electrons. So, you come to the next shell, fourth shell. So, how to write the electronic configuration of calcium? 
two comma eight comma eight comma two. In this way, you have to write the electronic configuration of calcium. Now one more element. Oh, how to write the electronic configuration of aluminium atom? Aluminium has the atomic number thirteen. Atomic number you have to denote by the symbol Z. So how uh, thirteen means it has the atomic number. So the first shell, K shell, how many electrons means two. The next shell, L shell, eight electrons. The M shell, the remaining three electrons. First shell must maximum two electrons. The remaining you have to fill it in the eight uh, L shell, eight electrons. Then come to the third shell, three. So the electronic configuration of aluminium is two comma eight comma three. Then geometric representation of atomic structure of elements. For example, the geometric representation of oxygen atom. Oxygen means symbol O. It has the mass number sixteen and it has the atomic number eight. From this, you have to write the mass number. Mass number A equal to sixteen. Then atomic number is Z equal to eight. And the number of neutrons, number of neutrons, neutrons has the formula A minus Z. So 16 minus 8, that is equal to 8. The number of protons, how to find number of protons? Atomic number is equal to number of protons, that is equal to number of electrons. So atomic number 8 means the number of proton is equal to 8, and the number of electron is is also equal to 8. Then How to write the electronic configuration? From the atomic number, you have to write the electronic configuration. So two, okay, two. The remaining you have six electrons. That is fill in the L shell. The first shell contains two electrons. The next shell six. So how to write the electronic configuration? Two comma six. Now how to draw the geometric representation of an atom oxygen? What? So uh, the center of an atom is the nucleus. What is in the nucleus? Protons and neutrons. Here eight protons and eight neutrons, and the electrons are revolve around the nucleus in a different shells. So here the first shell contains how many electrons? Two electrons. So you have to fill the dot the two electrons. The next shell, second shell, K shell contains in the remaining electrons that is six electrons. So one, two, three, four. And also five, six. In this way, you have to represent the geometric representation of an oxygen atom. Now, come to the last one. That is an assignment. Do the assignment. You are having three equations. What are the properties of subatomic particles? The second one, define atomic number and mass number. Third one, one problem. Calculate the atomic number. Is it? Whose mass number is thirty-nine, and the number of proton, number of neutron is twenty. You have to find the name of an element. So these three question you have to learn and write one time. Okay. Thank you, students.